guys, welcome back. I hope everyone's doing well out there. It's still the middle of February here, 2020, in Central Ontario, Canada. Right here, I'm in the hot seat because I'm going to take some time today to show you something that you're probably going to have to think about if you either own a sawmill or are about to own a sawmill. And what that is, it's how to keep your blade sharp. Now, there's a whole bunch of procedures you can follow when cutting wood to keep them sharp, but no matter what you do, you are eventually going to have to either resharpen that blade or replace it. I'm going to show you a bit of a cost breakdown here and sort of what I do in order to make my buck go the furthest it can. Some of the sharpeners I'm going to show you are very expensive, some less expensive. Keep in mind, regardless of what you do when you're out of the sawmill, you're going to have to cross this bridge eventually. So I appreciate all you guys being here today. Let's go have a look at the spreadsheet. You guys can decide for yourself what manufacturer looks like it has the best sharpener for you. So let's have a look at the Woodland Mills blade sharpener here. Now, the Woodland Mills blade sharpener, based on some of the research I've done on their website, is actually manufactured by Grind Lux 4000. I think that's the model name for their sharpener. Now it's a 12 volt sharpener, meaning you have to have a separate battery that they do not sell or they do not supply. And that would have to be purchased from a secondary source. I priced out what that battery would cost here in Canada. And you can get a cheap one, cheap 12 volt battery for about $40 Canadian. The actual sharpener itself from Woodland Mills, $849 Canadian for a total before taxes, before shipping of $889 Canadian. Now, they estimated that you're going to have to resharpen your blades every two to four hours. I went with the four hour mark just to base this uh, little calculation on. So, assuming one blade runs four hours and you can resharpen it according to Woodland Mills up to about five times, that gives you about 20 hours of total cut time per blade. Now, you have to try to justify to yourself now the cost of that $889 based on how much time, how many cutting hours you put into your sawmill. If you put a lot of cutting hours in, then yes, you are going to likely get up to that $889 cost when you replace the blades because you're replacing them so often. But if you're only cutting every so often, it's going to take you an awful long time to equal out to that $889 if you're factoring in the $23 per blade cost. Now, I did a bit of math here. I'm going to basically just summarize it for you. If we were to take $889, the cost of the sharpener, and divide it by $23, which is the cost per blade, you would have to purchase 39 blades in order to equal up to the cost of that sharpener. I've done a lot of cutting in some instances and less cutting in other instances, and I can tell you I have not used 39 blades yet. So for me, I know I don't resharpen my blades, I just replace them. I'm actually saving money currently. But if I were to look more long term, I would likely equal out to 39 blades in probably another year or so, and then that would be the justification for buying the sharpener. For me, I've used 17 blades in total up to this point. So 17 blades multiplied by $23 per blade gives me a total that I've spent on replacing instead of resharpening of $391. 391 versus 889, I'm ahead. That will not always be the case because the more blades I use, the closer I get to that magic 39 blade number. And that 39 blade number is where I would break even and I would then start saving money if I would resharpen. Let's look at some other manufacturers out there. Some other manufacturers offer sharpeners as well as tooth setters. I'm going to explain what a tooth setter is in just a second. So let's look at the Norwood. Norwood shown here in orange, they offer what they call the Blade Mate Pro sharpener. It's 12 volt as well, so you'd have to buy a battery, not included. $1197 Canadian is the cost of their sharpener. Then throw in the cost of a $40 12 volt battery, you're at a total without tax, without shipping cost of 
$37 Canadian. Using the same general math that I used before, if you were to take that $1,237 price, total price, and divide it by the cost of a blade, which is $23, you would have to use 54 blades in order to get equal to the cost of that sharpener. All that means is the Norwood is more expensive, but is it better? That's gonna be up for you to decide. But to get to 54 blades, I know in my case, that would take me a longer period of time. So for me to justify the Norwood, I would have to be thinking more long-term than short-term. Let's come down here a little bit. Down here we have Woodmiser, and you can see it here on the left. Woodmiser is a well-known company. They offer sharpeners as well. The sharpener that they offer is unique in that it has a tooth setter included. What a tooth setter is there for is once the, once the tooth is sharpened, you can also bend it back slightly into alignment. Okay, so the Woodmiser here, they offer what's called the BMST50 bandsaw blade sharpener and setter. Now, it's a manual type operation, so you have to physically move the blade past one tooth onto the next. You also have to maneuver some levers in order to position the tooth setter. That puts you back at $2,373 Canadian. Quite a bit more money when compared with the Woodland Mills and the Norwood, but what it does offer is that two-in-one feature, offering blade sharpening and tooth setting. Sort of a one-stop shop. Now, even more money, Woodmiser offers something very similar to the last model I, I mentioned, but this time, uh, it's completely automatic. Now, with automatic comes a higher price, but unfortunately, it doesn't have the tooth setter included. So it's got the ability to sharpen the saw, and it actually does it without your input, so it moves the blade along without you. But this time, it's got no tooth setter, so you would have to actually buy a separate unit to set the teeth or to realign them if necessary. The price of that, the BMS 250, $2,793 Canadian. Woodmiser offers a manual tooth setter. So this would likely be purchased in addition to that model I just mentioned. The BMT 100 manual tooth setter is just that. It's manually operated by you. It allows you to reposition the teeth, set the teeth. That's $770. So you can get an automatic bandsaw blade sharpener, but remember with that $2,793 price tag, you gotta add on to that $770 if you get the Woodmiser tooth setter. Let's move on to a company that's relatively new to me, and one of you guys actually pointed it out to me, and it seems like a really great company for making sawmills and associated products. And that is called the Valley Sawmill Company. And they're out of Quebec here in Canada, and they offer a series of sharpeners as well as tooth setters. Let's go down here and we can have a look at what they offer because they have quite a number. The first one here, this is a manually operated sharpener. Okay, So this, just like uh, some of the other brands here, you have to move the blade from one tooth to the next. Uh, but then they have the sharpening wheel, which is an electronic unit that will sharpen the teeth for you. This only works with straight tooth bandsaw blades. If you have any type of bevel, this will not do it. Okay. They do, however, offer the similar type of sharpener, but this time it will, it will allow for a bevel on your saw blades. That unit is a little bit more money at $1,900 compared with the straight teeth only, $1,575. If you want to get away from the manual blade sharpeners and start to get into automatic tooth sharpeners, you're going to start looking at $2,575. So now we're starting to get up to that territory of the wood miser. The wood miser, you can see getting into the automatic tooth sharpener, you're at $2,793. Valley, getting into the automatic tooth sharpener, you're at $2,575. Now keep in mind here, this is only for straight teeth. If you're looking for automatic and you want to have a bevel, you're jumping the price up even more just under $3,000 Canadian. That's a huge investment. If you're serious about cutting wood and you're cutting wood a lot and you're going through a lot of bandsaw blades, this might be, a, might be a good option for you. Lastly, if you need to set the teeth, which you would likely will if you're gonna resharpen your blades, Valley offers a tooth setter. Now this is a manual tooth setter, 
So you are going to use some levers, you're going to read some dials, and you're going to position the teeth manually. They offer that for a price of $395. Jumping up from that, Bally offers one additional step higher in their tooth setters, and that's a crank operated tooth setter. So instead of you having to sort of reposition the blade every single time by hand, you actually use a crank and it, it moves the blade forward one tooth so that you can go ahead and uh, sort of speed up or, or make the tooth setting process a bit faster. Okay, and that's $995 Canadian. Now, American Alternatives. Many of you folks out there are Americans and thank you for being here. You guys have some great companies down south of me and uh, I don't want to overlook them because they offer some great products. Cooks. Cooks is a company that offers some great products and the first one here I'm going to talk about is called the Cat Claw Automatic Sharpener. Now this is just an automatic tooth sharpening machine. There's no tooth setting. The cost of this, and my first experience is it looks quite robust, but the cost of this is $1,795 US dollars. They offer a manual tooth setter that you can buy to go with that sh tooth sharpener, $395 US dollars. They have one additional upgrade, and this additional upgrade basically just increases the speed at which you can get the blade sharpened and set before it goes back into service, and that's called the dual tooth setter. This is manually operated as well. This is up around $1,095 US. That's from Cooks. Let's look at another great American company here. And uh, these guys are called the Hudson Forest Equipment Company. They not only sell sawmills and all kinds of stuff, but they sell, um, they sell sharpeners uh, as well and tooth setters. So if we're looking at their products, Hudson, if you want a manual crank style tooth sharpener, $1,495.95 US. They offer a really small and it almost looks like a set of pliers style hand tooth setter. This thing is very basic, but it gets the job done, and they sell that for a low price of 85 US. Last but not least here, Timber King. Timber King offers a full automatic sharpener, no tooth setting though, okay? So it's not a two for one deal here. You have to do a tooth setting on your blade separate. They offer full automatic sharpeners for $995, and I didn't mention this, but this is US. If you wanted to get a dual tooth blade setter to complement your automatic sharpener for the same price, you're gonna pay as 995 US dollars. Okay, so that's a, that's a basic overview of some of the major manufacturers that I've found out there that manufacture bandsaw blade sharpeners. Now, don't forget, when you're resharpening your blades, you will likely, from time to time, have to set the teeth. If you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe you just look into that a little bit before you make a decision here. Because you don't want to sharpen a blade and have the teeth all out of alignment because you're still not going to get any good cuts with a sharp blade. All right, guys, so there it is for you. I've laid out all the major manufacturers that I was able to round up for a blade sharpener. I've also rounded out some of the tooth setters that are out there and what their cost is going to be. Just be forewarned, unless it says... It is in Canadian dollars. So all these prices here, they're in Canadian dollars. Where it's in American dollars, it says US after it. Okay, so just take that in, into consideration. And also remember, the best place for you to get information about each of these, including prices, is from the manufacturers themselves. I tried my best to do an accurate comp uh, compilation of all this info, but be forewarned, prices change, things change. I make errors, try not to make them. But go see the manufacturers if you have any specific questions. Guys, I really hope this helped you. I hope to see you all next time. And as always, I appreciate every one of you watching. Guys, take care. See you next time. <laughs>